So, now let's start by adding some data inside our database using Query Builder. So, let's go to inside our app HTTP controllers and we will choose our students controller. So, in here, let's delete all the old methods from here. We don't need them now. Let's create a new function with the name of add data and inside here we have to type when we use query builder then we have to type db and we have to import the class as well in here if a, your id does not automatically import so you have to write this manually now let's come back to our method and in here let's type db colon colon table then we have to type our table name in the ta which table we want to add so if i go here i want to add it inside my students table so let's copy this from here and add it here then after that we have to type insert and inside insert function we have to create an array then inside this array we have to type our column names and their values as in key and value so for example let's open our students here we have name email age date of birth and gender so let's go back here and for the name let's type tester for email let's type tester at gmail.com for age let's type for example 15 and for uh, what we had other date of birth so for date of birth let's type as an string 2010 01 and finally for gender we will say m now let's uh, return also add it successfully now let's go and create a new route for this also so we can access it from the browser so let's copy this and let's go to inside our routes web.php let's delete these old routes we don't need them and in here let's create a new route with a type of gate and we will give them a url of add data then we will call our students controller students controller colon colon class and our method name now let's save now let's go and hit this url so let's copy this from here and let's go to our browser and in here let's go to this okay add it successfully now let's go back to our database let's refresh that table we got our record in our database as you guys can see this too is null because we are using query builder if we use eloquent laravel would have automatically added this to column as well now let's see how we can add multiple data using query builder so when we add a single record we will use an array like this directly we will add it here but if you guys want to add multiple data using this method then in that case first of all you have to open up first array then inside here you have to create another array like this for each of your records so it would be like multi-dimensional array so an array inside an array now we added that one so let's change some values in here so let's change the email the name the gender now let's copy this now for the second record you have to add comma then your second record now let's change this also this one also now you can add as many records as you want so let's add one more total three records so okay now let's go to our browser and refresh now if we open our database refresh our database we have our new data as well so this is how we can add data using query builder first you have to type db then 
your table and finally you have to type insert and add your values.